All right, guys, so today I'm finally taking a look at a pair of truly wireless earbuds that you guys have been wanting me to check out, and that's the brand new Jaybird Vista. Now, let me go ahead and say this right off the bat. This is the best product that Jaybird has released yet, but it does come at a price. These are $180, so it is not cheap, and obviously right now in a market where I feel like truly wireless earbuds are very solid and very solid at that under $100 range. So what do these have to offer and can they possibly be worth the $180 price tag? Well, first off, let me start with this. It does have Bluetooth 5.0, but it also has this new technology that Jaybird is calling the JBS-1, which is basically giving you a crystal clear, strong connection with zero to no lag. And I still noticed, I do wanna point this out, I, I didn't notice any lag with anything else except occasionally on YouTube using Apple. That's more so an Apple thing than I think it's anything else. I've noticed that with pretty much majority of true wireless earbuds that I try, but that is something I want you guys to know. Now it is IPX7 waterproof. It even says that it's earth proof, whatever that possibly could be but it really is made to be able to just go out and handle whatever and just not have to worry about it. Now inside the box, it comes with small, medium, and large ear tips, but they also have the connected wing tips. Now they do fit extremely well, and the other positive is they isolate noise very well for me. They block out majority of what's going on around me, but the wing tips after a little while, at least for me, just feels like it kind of digs into my ears. And I notice at times I could wear them for long periods of time and it's not an issue. And then sometimes I could wear it and in about an hour, it starts to get really uncomfortable. So I'm thinking it's just really important when you put them in your ear, make sure it's just right and then get it to a point where you're used to using them. Now, the next one is just a huge plus for me. You guys will understand. It comes with a USB-C cable, which is very welcomed and pretty much should be expected at this point. But battery life on these is also impressive, especially considering the size of everything. The battery life on the earbud is six hours, where on the case you're getting 10 hours. Now, you think right off the bat that doesn't sound like amazing. The six hours on the tiny little earbud is really impressive, but this charging case is extremely small. It's actually really comparable to Samsung's Galaxy Buds in how small it is. And I think they're doing this on purpose, obviously, because Jaybird products are more geared towards people that are out and about and on the go and working out. So you want something as small as possible. You can throw this thing in your pocket easily. It even comes with a little string next to it so you can kind of loop it around your belt loop or your bag or whatever. And it's really easy to carry around. Now, the other huge plus is if you do pick them up and they're dead, a five minute charge will give you an hour's worth of use, which is good for a run or a bike ride or whatever. So I do like that they have that feature in this. Now, going back to the earbuds themselves, they don't use touch control. It does have the button control. Now the button is the full outside surface. It's really easy to push. I didn't have any issues with that. And I didn't have any issues feeling like I was jamming these into my ears. So I felt like the controls controlled everything very well, but I do have a complaint when it comes to the controls. It's very limited to what you can control. Um, you can control your volume, but you have to customize it within the app to be able to do that. Because if you want to customize your volume, then you have to turn off your ability to be able to turn these off without putting them in the case. Um, same thing with track control. Extremely weird that you can skip the track forward, but you can't go back to the previous track and you can't even go back to the song that you're on. Like it's just not possible using the controls at all. And it's very weird, but it is something that Jaybird maybe can fix in an update, but I'm not really sure why that is the way it is with these. But while speaking of the app, I do want to point out it's pretty much necessary to have these. Yes, you can use them without the app. I'm not saying that you need the app to be able to use them, but you do need the app to be able to get the most out of these um, because it has the find my earbuds feature, which is really convenient. But the EQ control is amazing in Jaybird software. There's a ton of presets that you can choose from. There's a ton of them that you can choose from that other users have uploaded. And I've found that those had some of my favorites compared to the ones that Jaybird even has built in. Another thing is you can even customize the EQ yourself. So you can tweak it to get it to sound just like you want. But I also noticed like if you bump up your bass a little too much or you bump up the treble a little too much, 
you start to kind of kill the volume. So it seems like the Jaybirds are only able to handle like a specific range. And then once you go above that, it'll start to kind of knock it down a little bit. And also, as far as using them independently, you actually can use the left or the right by themselves. So it, one is not dependent on the other. Now, the microphone on these are okay. It does the job. Um, again, these are more focused on being waterproof. So when they do that, it usually kind of kills the quality of the microphone. But you guys can be a judge by listening to it here. All right, guys. So here is a mic test of the Jaybird Vista. As you can tell, it's not bad at all, especially considering it's IPX7 waterproof, which usually affects the quality of microphones with earbuds. And so here is a mic test with a busier crowd noise playing in the background on the speakers so you can get an idea of what it would sound like if you were in a restaurant or a bar. So now let's get into sound. I kind of hinted at it a little bit with the EQ settings. Right out of the box, right once you update them, they actually sound pretty good. $180 good? No, they, they didn't sound like that yet. Once you download the app, once you play around with EQ settings, you then realize, okay, because of the features, because of the waterproof, because of Jaybird's app and some of those controls and all of that stuff, I started to see value. I started to see, okay, these handled EQing very well. I felt like if you're somebody that's a bass head, you can definitely get really solid, like thick bass out of these. Or if you're somebody that likes to listen to things a little more flatter, you really are able to kind of get it to that point. Or if you just like an extremely bright, treble rich, more leaning towards that in the mids, you can do that as well. So the biggest thing about these are, depending on what it is you listen to, you will be able to tweak it and EQ it and get it to that sound signature. Once I found this one setting within the EQ, I was able to get it just right. And I think that the bass was just definitely thumping, but the treble was still clear. It just had this really nice presence to it. Um, sound imaging is really good, especially considering that they're earbuds. Um, it's fairly open. It had no problem being able to tell exactly where things were coming from. And even with the mids, I mean, vocals had a lot of presence. I mean, it's really weird because these are only six millimeter drivers they're tiny. And that might be why they can't handle EQing like a little too much. But overall, what they were able to do, the sound that you're getting, and I think that the features that you're getting, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Now, definitely not saying these things are perfect because these are some of the cons that I had. One, the wingtips. The wingtips on the earbuds, again, at times can get uncomfortable. But I found at times it was okay and then at sometimes it just felt like it kind of jabbed into my ear. The ability to not go back to the previous track is a huge problem for me because sometimes I'm listening to a song and I want to be able to go back and listen to that song again and maybe again. But to not have that ability and to not be able to control that within the button itself, I mean, I, I guess you can summons the smart assistant and ask it to do it. But my complaint with that always is you just can't do that all the time. And this last one may just be a minor complaint and something that a lot of people may not care about, but if you're spending $180, it would have been really nice to have this case also be a Qi wireless charging case, like where it's at least capable to come in, sit this on a wireless charger, and then just go. So I think once you start to bump your price up to that range, I think you need to load in as many features as possible. And I think Jaybird for the most part did a really good job with that. And I think the sound quality definitely backs this up as well. It's just one of those that I think is a very good polished overall product. It does definitely feel like something that um, it's kind of a collection of a lot of the things that Jaybird products have done right in the past. And it's just kind of combined into one. So guys, that is my review of the brand new Jaybird Vistas. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.